so you should get this kind of output okay now let me explain this see here uh, initially the state is zero the inputs is changing from zero to one to zero and so on then it will check for the next positive clock edge right till this point it's the input is zero as soon as the next clock edge appears here is the positive edge right this is the positive edge next positive edge of the clock at that time it will check with the input is one or zero if the input is one then it will increment by one just because it's a valid sequence valid detector sequence then it will let it will wait till the next clock cycle comes at the next positive edge it will again check if the input is one if it is one then only it will increment otherwise not and you know it will again wait till the next positive edge of the clock comes at that time it will check for next zero to come at the input so one has detected one has detected again the zero has detected so it will now these are the states now it now it has gone to state three and the output is one here so this is what we expect last time we have seen the fsm of 110 detector right 110 detector if we code that you should expect this kind of output last time we stopped stopped here right so you can you make use of case statements or if else statements if you proceed with that you should expect this kind of output okay i want you to verify the output run it after which i will proceed for the next talk okay this is this is the last uh, topic in the very long after which we'll switch the talk all right go for it <coughs> go for it
laptop, sometimes the connection will not work. If you go offline,
for offline users i can explain the procedure again so i'll simply copy the code and the test bench go to bin folder shift the back right click first delete all the files which are not in use this is offline process shift the back right click karo open command window here before that you make sure that your verilog file is inside this how to create that right click new a text document give some name let's say fsm dot v the extension is extension of verilog is dot v <coughs> that is a simple text file which you can edit in notepad save the code after that you can save the test bench and once this is done in the command window you can give the command i caras verilog or i verilog dot exe okay space file name where you want to save the output fsm don't give any extension space the verilog file name fsm dot v that's the syntax <coughs> press enter oh aha uh -huh. you'll have to give slash o before that for output if you enter <coughs> If it compiles well successfully it won't give any error if it pops any error okay you can rectify after that the syntax is vvp dot exe space the file which you have saved which one is the file fsm not v the output file is this simply fsm enter the info will be there that vcd info dump file state machine dot vcd open for output so this will be the same name which we have given in the dump file uh, syntax so once this is done i'll go to my main folder all right and you need to go to this gtk wave go to gtk wave better to create a shortcut for this bin mein jaake iska shortcut create kar lo gtk wave ka right click send to desktop so this will create the shortcut to desktop so if you double click on that gtk wave it will open this gui where you need to give which file vcd file so open new tab and it will ask for the vcd file so vcd file is there in the main bin folder which vcd file statem.vcd just we have correct we have created this file right open and on the left you will see this you know hierarchy you can add all those you can say append and they will be added yeah, insert see here i'm getting the output
I'm getting the same output which I could get in this uh, playground, EDA playground. Okay. As soon as the positive edge of the clock appears, the count will increase if the valid sequence is detected, and so on. So in this way, you can compile it offline. Okay, you should have hands on both. <coughs> All right. Yeah, so you got the output. How many of you got the output? FSM. You want me to code here? It's easy. See here. We want this one one zero detector, right? So what we have what we have done? We have simply created. What are the inputs required for this state machine? You tell me. Last time we have seen that the input is just the in line and the clock. That's it. Input will tell if the sequence. Input will give the series of sequences one one zero and so on. This clock. It is independent of anything. To save the output state, uh, to save the output, I have defined a reg, or uh, sorry, yeah, it's a wire, a vectored output, one to zero. Just because it's a two bit, highest state is three, so it's ranging from zero to three. We have defined for the state to be saved. We have defined state variable. <coughs> we have initialized the output and state to zero, just for convenience, initial state. Then, you know, we have proceeded in a simple way that. Okay, we need to check the positive edge of the clock. Once the positive edge of the clock is detected, then only it will go to the next step. Otherwise, not. We have given uh, a sequence of step. Uh, this case statements. Case we have used that whether the initial, state, whether the present state or the current state, which one is the current state to detect that current state. We have uh, given this case statement. So it will check for the state. If it is zero, what do you need to do? If it is in state zero, then for the next positive edge, it will check for the input. If the input is one, if one, if in means it's by default it is detecting input as one, or you can simply specify in equal to equal to one. Both mean the same thing. Just because we want one one zero to be detected, we initially say if it is in case zero, that means state zero, and if the input is one. Make the output to zero. Make make the output as zero and jump to next state, state equal to one. Otherwise, you keep the output zero and be in the same state. That's it. Now this is for state zero, right? Similarly, you have to check for both the possibilities for remaining states. So for state one, so if the state here case two, uh, sorry case one, okay, when the state is one. What happens if the input is again one? When do see we need we don't need to check for zero state. See it will come to state one only if no it has detected one. So after which if the input is one, make the output as zero and jump to state two and so on. So likewise I have defined the conditions for state zero, one, two, and three. Is that okay? And I have given the input in such a fashion that you know, uh, for each and every positive edge of the clock, I have given one one zero as the input. <coughs> If I run this, I'll get such kind of output. For every positive edge, it will check if the input is one and the current state. If the input is one and the current state is what is expected then it will jump to the next state i mean it will jump it accordingly so say for example here the input is 1 but there is no positive edge of the clock so the state is unchanged next positive edge comes here it will check for the input if it is 1 then it will increment the count i mean it will go to the next state for the next positive edge it will check what is the what was the state it was initially 1 It has detected one again as the input. It has jumped to state two. For the next positive edge of the clock, it will check the initial state. Initial state was two, and the input is zero again. Okay, after one one, the input is now zero. Then it will go to state three, and the output is one. Until that point, the output remains zero. 
is that okay can you code this now quick you got the output who else got the output yahan pe koi kaam nahi kar raha hai kya hmm code it If you are lazy enough, I will be lazy enough. I'll be lazier than you. Output. The, I should give the clock value and also the inputs. Then only I can expect you know, such kind of waveform. understand first what you want to do then you code
इन केस इज ने लाइक दिस फॉलोड बाय एन मॉड्यू दिस हाउ आई गेव द इनपुट आउटपुट ओके बी कॉन्फिडेंट आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ आउटपुट इन द एग्जाम इफ आई एम आस्किंग यू ओके टू आई मैं आस्किंग थिंग आई मीन आई कैन गो दिस आई कैन गिव द टेस्ट बेंच आई मैं आस्क यू टू प्लॉट द आउटपुट और आई मैं आस्क यू टू जनरेट द और राइट अ टेस्ट बेंच फॉर अ डिजायर्ड आउटपुट एंड सो ऑन सो यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग नाउ Okay, so let's stop for this very log here. Okay, very log. We'll stop this. Now, see. Uh, again, I won't say that I have covered. See, I have simply covered very, very few topics in very log. Okay, very log is like huge. बहुत बहुत ज़्यादा for statement है उसमें बाकी सारे loops भी हैं. पर हमने मतलब with the help of what we have seen so far, we can code. Uh, I mean, we can code uh, general FSMs. sequential circuits everything we can do it now let's go for the next topic which i wanted to cover uh for the logic families राइट सी इंटरव्यू में आपके जो इंटरव्यू नहीं वाइवा वो उसमें आपको कुछ सवाल पूछे गए थे लाइक वॉट इज टी टी एल वॉट इज सी मॉ लाइक आई डेंट एक्सपेक्ट यू टू आंसर दोज क्वेश्चन बट लेट सी इट इन मच नो इन मच मोर डिटेल सी एनी आई सी 
okay when you buy when you purchase some ic what do we bother about we just we just tell the specifications to the vendor saying that okay i want and gate or or gate or any gate to be implemented and we just go and you know purchase that but you don't specify what are the the things like say for example i want the implementation to be a transistor level i want an implementation to be uh, like a mosfet level and so on that means what i'm saying is how it is manufactured we don't bother what we bother about its operation so the various logics can be implemented using various uh, what you can say is a semiconductor families or logic families so this logic families are the way to implement various logic circuits so if i want to implement and that day i gave you an example like how you can implement a nor gate using you know simple transistors like how uh, likewise we can define all the gates using different logic families so what are these logic families and what are the variations are the ttl and the cmos only the one no so let's see what are the like uh, different types of this logic families again i'm saying logic families are nothing but way of implementing this logic gates so these are see any semiconductor these are all semiconductor ics semiconductors are again we have seen can be see we have seen two types two types of uh, switches do you remember on one question mujhe nahi pata kisko pucha gaya tha he asked to uh, draw an e electrical equivalent of a gate किसको पूछा था एक्सॉर गेट फॉर यू एंड वॉक सो यू आर नॉट एबल टू ड्रॉ दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्वेलेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्वेलेंट इज नथिंग बट मतलब एक बल्ब लगा के देखो एक स्विच लगा के दिखाओ एंड आई मीन इट वॉज दैट सिंपल मतलब से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई नीड टू इम्प्लीमेंट एन एंड गेट आई वुड सिंपली से दैट ओके दिस इज अ स्विच एंड दिस इज वॉट द बल्ब इज आई विल हैव वन मोर स्विच एंड दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्वेलेंट फाइव वोल्ड एंड ग्राउंड देर so if both are on then only it will be on so it's like a electrical equivalent of an and gate so both agar buttons mein series mein lagaunga this switches if i uh, join them in series then only this will be on so this was the electrical equivalent now we want to implement switches like ones and zeros can be implemented using switches in analog electronics we have seen that switches can be how many types of switches we have seen semiconductor switches we have seen transistors we have seen mosfets like two wide families of switches we have seen can you tell me the basic difference between those we have seen transistors we have seen mosfets what are what was the very basic difference between them very basic kya bhi forward bhul gaye kya देखो डिजिटल लॉजिक के पहले डिजिटल डिजाइन के पहले ईडीसी उसी के लिए सिखाया जाता है क्योंकि आप सवाल ना पूछो कि वाह अच्छा ये ट्रांजिस्टर अच्छा इसका आउटपुट इम्पिडेंस कितना होगा इनपुट इम्पिडेंस कितना होगा ये सब कवर किया हुआ है हाइब्रिड पैरामीटर्स अगर आपको याद हो तो स्विचेस ट्रांजिस्टर्स याद है सबको नहीं याद है वेरी गुड फेस इन द एग्जाम सी इसके बेसिस पे भी क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं अगर बोले नहीं नहीं वो तो पिछले सेमिस्टर में नो द बेसिस ऑफ द डिजिटल लॉजिक इज The fundamental analog electronics. So you must know the basis basics of analog electronics. The very basic difference was, you remember BJT? ये शब्द तो पता है? क्या ये BJT बोलो? Oh, very good. What is this? Not this one. We didn't see C. We have seen this MOS. You know this MOS? What is that MOS? Metal oxide semiconductor. What was the main difference between them? थोड़ा सोचो. यस बोलो याद करो ये जब तक के नहीं पता चलेगा मैं सामने नहीं जाना बेसिक डिफरेंस वेरी बेसिक डिफरेंस ओके बट अगेन वेरी बेसिक वेरी फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चरल डिफरेंस नॉट ऑपरेशन हाँ चैनल चैनल वॉज फ्रॉम ओके structural difference i am again not saying the operational difference structural yes ha ha so this is not by doping ha huh? you are close enough but yeah if you ha huh? okay that is no no basic structural difference i am saying 
Now she said that a channel is formed. Yeah. Insulator was there. Okay, but again you are missing. Current कैसे conduct? Yeah. Huh? Say it loud. Exactly. So that was our. I was expecting. Very good. Fundamental difference is this bipolar. Naam hi to bata raha hai. Bipolar junction transistor itself is like current is being carried by both the charge carriers, electrons and holes. If you remember, I B was contributed. Uh, you know this I C was beta times I B and you know both. Uska reverse saturation current bagara sab kuch tha. It is conducted by. I mean, this is bipolar and this is unipolar. If you see, the channel is formed by only one type of charge carrier, electrons or holes. We have seen that end channel में electrons को pull किया जाता था उसी से conduct किया वहाँ पे holes नहीं होते थे. So that's the very basic difference. Hence, you know, we can uh, divide this uh, logic families widely into two types: unipolar and bipolar. आप अगर भूल जाओगे ना तीन साल के बाद मुझे पता नहीं मतलब इतने सब्जेक्ट सिखाना है तो आप कितने याद रखोगे हैं बाईपोलर एंड यूनिपोलर इन बाईपोलर देर आर वेरियस कैटेगरीज दिस कैन बी अगेन डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स और टू कैटेगरीज फॉर सैचुरेटेड लॉजिक एंड नॉन सैचुरेटेड saturated uh, logic families are one in which the transistors are driven to the saturation level and non saturated of course they are not driven to the saturation level but still it is able to operate do you remember how we can operate transistor as a switch anyone acha transistor kis liye use karte hai pehle batao ha huh? amplifier okay that is one application second application was switch when can it act as a switch and when can it act as an amplifier yeah the two regions of operation if you remember yaad hai yaad karo 20 saal pehle ye kuch aise curves the ab mujhe poocho mat ki ye curves kahan se aaye dekhe kya aise curves ab batao ye region of operation kaun sa hai batao fatafat let me यहाँ पे जहाँ पे कोई करंट फ्लो नहीं होता है बोलो कट ऑफ इज कट ऑफ ये रीजन बोलो ये एक्टिव एक्टिव में भी दो टाइप है अच्छा ठीक है एमिटर जंक्शन कलेक्टर जंक्शन इफ एमिटर जंक्शन इज फॉरवर्ड बाय And if collector function is junction is reverse bias, what is it called? मारूंगा एक एक को forward bias एक अरे ये transistor है base ये मैं skip कर दूंगा ऐसे मतलब सवाल के जवाब दो base emitter collector ये देखा हुआ है अब बताओ इसमें दो junctions होते हैं यानी base emitter junction और base collector junction बोलो इसमें एन पी एन कैसा है ये कौन सा बता दिया ये क्या है एन पी एन ना एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर दो जंक्शन है पी एन और पी एन एमीटर जंक्शन ये वाला है कलेक्टर जंक्शन ये वाला है अगर एमीटर जंक्शन फॉरवर्ड बायस है और कलेक्टर जंक्शन रिवर्स बायस है व्हाट इज इट कॉल्ड रीजन ऑफ ऑपरेशन बोलो हाँ हे भगवान गोली मार दू मैं खुद को है बोलो एक्टिव एक्टिव रीजन ऑफ ऑपरेशन दिस कॉल्ड एस फॉरवर्ड एक्टिव रीजन ये पढ़ाया था नहीं पढ़ाया था इतना बोलो बस वेन बोथ आर फॉरवर्ड बायस अब तो सबको आना चाहिए बोलो हाँ सैचुरेशन वेन बोथ आर रिवर्स बायस बोलो कट ऑफ ये जब रिवर्स है और ये फॉरवर्ड है बोलो रिवर्स एक्टिव 
मैं एनालॉग नहीं पढ़ाने वाला सी इफ द ट्रांजिस्टर आर ऑपरेटेड सी स्विच को ऑपरेट करने आई मीन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इफ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ऑपरेट अ ट्रांजिस्टर एज अ स्विच आई हैव टू रीजन ऑफ ऑपरेशन दिस इज सैचुरेशन रीजन यस और नो आई वॉन्ट लॉजिकली वन और जीरो स्विच ऑन है और ऑफ है सो आई कैन आई दर स्विच बिटवीन दिस टू लेवल्स जीरो और वन और आई कैन जस्ट बी नो बिफोर द सैचुरेशन सी सैचुरेशन में प्रॉब्लम ऐसा है ओके आई टेल यू लेटर सो दीज आर द टू रीजन्स वेर यू नो द स्विचेस the uh, transistor can be operated at the switch and this is where it can be operated in the amplification region okay transistor can act as an amplifier you remember this transistor can act as an amplifier bolo to fir current amplifier kaun sa hai kaun sa configuration mein aapko current amplification milega common अगर कुछ समझा नहीं कौन सा क्या है तो कॉमन इमीटर बोल दो दोनों एम्पलीफिकेशन करता है ना कॉमन इमीटर एंड कॉमन इमीटर इज एक्चुअली एबल टू एम्पलीफाई बोथ हेलो हेलो ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन यू कैन यू कैन कैटेगराइज दिस ओके सैचुरेटेड एंड नॉन सैचुरेटेड इन सैचुरेटेड वी हैव वेरियस फैमिलीज एज टी टी एल आर टी एल टी टी एल इज ट्रांजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक आर टी एल इज रजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक रजिस्टर नहीं रेजिस्टर आई मीन एस वाला नॉट जी वाला सो दिस इज नॉर्मल ये रजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक नॉट सेविंग वाला देन डी टी एल दिस डी टी एल इज डायो ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक एच टी एल थ्री शोल्ड लॉजिक आई थ्री शोल्ड लॉजिक और एंड यू नो आई स्क्वेयर एल लॉजिक ई सी एल लॉजिक एंड सो ऑन आई स्क्वेयर एल लॉजिक एंड सो ऑन एल लॉट ऑफ लॉजिक फैमिलीज वी डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट ऑल ऑफ देम सी दीज लॉजिक फैमिलीज एक्चुअली अराइव सबसे पुराना जो है वो आर टी एल है सिंपल जो हमने डिफाइन किया था मतलब बहुत पहले आया हुआ आर टी एल आर टी एल का एक एग्जाम्पल हमने पहले लिया है दो ट्रांजिस्टर्स उसको फिर डू रिमेंबर दिस एग्जाम्पल वी वी हैव टेकन एज ए नॉर्गेट कितने लोग को पता है हमने लिया है ये वेरी गुड बताना पड़ेगा ओके वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट द लॉजिक फैमिलीज यूजिंग रजिस्टर्स एंड ट्रांजिस्टर्स ओके पढ़ लो पहले के लेक्चर्स अगर अवेलेबल हो देन देर इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक डायोड ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक दैट मीन्स वी आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ डायोड्स एंड ट्रांजिस्टर टू बिल्ड वेरियस लॉजिक अब लॉजिक फैमिली डिस्क्राइब करना मतलब सिर्फ नैंड या फिर नॉर्गेट ये डिजाइन कर लो बाकी तो ऑटोमेटिक हो जाएंगे ओके इन नॉन सैचुरेटेड वी हैव वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज अ शॉर्ट की टी टी एल लो पावर शॉर्ट की टी टी एल ई सी एल एंड सो ऑन नाउ शॉर्ट की शॉर्ट की नेम ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट ओके आई एल एक्सप्लेन I'll explain all this. In unipolar, unipolars are further classified as uh, MOS to P MOS. एन मॉस एंड सी मॉस वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट द लॉजिक फंक्शन यूजिंग ओनली पी टाइप ऑफ मॉसपेट वी कैन यूज एन टाइप ऑफ मॉसपेट और वी कैन यूज बोथ ऑफ देम वेन वी यूज पी एंड एंड बोथ दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मॉसपेट विल सी हाउ टू बिल्ड आई मीन हाउ द नेम एज अराइव एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन दैट 
ऑल राइट अब दे इज ओनली वन फैमिली विच वॉज विच हैज एक्चुअली सर्वाइव ऑल दिस वाइल्ड फ्रॉम लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स फ्रॉम यू नो हाफ सेंचुरी एक ही फैमिली है जो सबसे ज़्यादा सर्वाइव हुई ट्रांजिस्टर में वो है ये टी टी एफ एंड ऑफकोर्स आई मीन दिस वन इफ इट इज नॉन सेचुरेटेड लॉजिक इट्स दिस वन ई सेल इज यूज फॉर फास्टर अप्लीकेशन बट द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज दिस टी टी एफ इफ इट इज ट्रांजिस्टर और बायपोलर लॉजिक एंड इन द मॉस इट इज सीम what we currently use in practice what your mobile phones are having what your processors are having is cmos in fact not cmos there are further advances in cmos which are called as fin fits pankh wale v v v mos h mos and you know there are various types of mosfet but it's basically a mosfet these two families we are going to see in detail okay so we don't need to worry about the others just classification you should remember this is the broad types of ways in which we can define or we can design various logic Let's see a simple logic using TTL. <coughs> so I'm yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see how a NAND gate can be implemented. Just because if we can implement NAND gate, we can implement anything. NAND. इन टी टी एल दो बार टी टी क्यों लगा इसलिए दो टी दो ट्रांजिस्टर इसलिए मैं बताऊंगा कि तीन ट्रांजिस्टर्स भी हो गए टू इम्फोसाइज दैट इट कैन भी इम्प्लीमेंटेड ओनली विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स एंड ऑफकोर्स अ फ्यू रेजिस्टर्स सो अ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर इज समथिंग लाइक दिस सर्किट देख के थोड़ा डोंट वरी अबाउट द सर्किट आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन आई एम ड्रॉइंग द सर्किट फॉर टू इनपुट नाइन गेट यूजिंग टी टी एल इन द टी टी एल फैमिली ये सिंबल आपने देखा नहीं होगा बट लेट मी ड्रॉ इट फर्स्ट बताओ ये क्या है ये डिवाइस देखा है कभी ट्रांजिस्टर ये उसको दो 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 इमीटर्स है ओके इज अ पर्पस फॉर दैट इज टू मल्टी इमीटर ट्रांजिस्टर नॉर्मल ट्रांसफर आई विल टेल यू द डिजाइन एंड ऑल of this you need to worry uh, this is how you know practically they are implemented r b is b c c C now this is one transistor one, this transistor two, this is also connected to this. Output is taken from here. That's it. This input one. put two and this is out so i am claiming that this is a two input nand gate see this first let me clear uh, let me clear this structure this is a multi emitter transistor how is the how is the transistor con uh, you know constructed you remember kya hota hai transistor mein ek emitter hota hai base thin hota hai na us to aisa pada tha 
कलेक्टर वाइड होता है और डोपिंग भी कम होता है एंड सो ऑन इसमें क्या होता है कि दे आर जस्ट हैविंग यू नो दे पार्टिशन डिस एमिटर इन टू टू ओके दैट मीन्स समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज अ डिफरेंस डिफरेंट मटेरियल हेयर एंड दिस एमिटर वन दिस एमिटर टू एंड सो ऑन and they are not connected to each other they are independent but either of them can drive the base and the color so this is the base emitter all right so this is the and this is the base so two emitters base and collector that is how we can represent this all right now look at this operation carefully i am saying that this can act as a nand gate let's see how if the input is zero Let's make C's input zero. I am taking the case one. Let me write that case one. When either of the inputs are zero, low you can say. Logic low. Logic low means what? Now see, I have, uh, you remember the class where we have discussed noise margin. Logic low can be have can have logic low can have some range. What is that range called? Yeah. So, bull here. Bull, oh, quick. What is logic zero? You can say. When when can we say it's logic zero? Tell me quick, why you are so dull? I don't know. Logic zero, logic one. पढ़ा है ना अभी दूसरे दिन जब वाइवा हुआ था उसके दूसरे दिन मैंने लिया है. बोलो logic zero, logic one. अच्छा नहीं पढ़ा है. पढ़ा है नहीं पढ़ा है. ये slide याद है क्या? You remember this slide? How many of you were present? Two people were there, yeah. How many of you present straight, upright, hands up? can see it as logic zero is called as so this vil okay this for the input voltage to be treated as logic zero it may be like 0.4 volts here so any voltage between 0 to 0.4 can be treated as logic zero ye humne dekha tha we will discuss this things 